Huntsville, the best place to live in America. That's according to the newest list from the U.S. News and World Report. The Rocket City scores high for job market, affordability, quality of life, desirability, and net migration growth. News 19's Emily Forrester joining us now in the studio with how people are reacting to this news. Yeah, guys, while there are some people on social media disagreeing with this report, a lot of people are really excited about it. Huntsville used to be a quiet farming community in the Tennessee Valley, but the city has transformed itself into a tech capital and a destination for people looking for an excellent quality of life. Now, the U.S. News and World Reports survey compares the country's 150 largest metropolitan areas. Now this is all based on how well they meet Americans expectations for where to live. The Rocket City ranks as the third most affordable place to live in these 150, 16th fastest growing place and 54th best place to retire. Now Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle says these annual rankings are no surprise given Huntsville is a growing vibrant community and now the most populous city in Alabama. And Jeff Gronberg who who used to chair the Huntsville Madison County Chamber of Commerce board says this transformation was not by accident. It's been a very long uh, road that we've traveled and it's been a very strategic one in which we've positioned Huntsville to be a center of excellence and to make sure that we had everything covered from a work, live and play standpoint. I give the mayor and uh, all the regional governments a tremendous amount of credit for having the vision to put the things in place that allow us to achieve something like uh, this recognition. Now, Huntsville rose to number one from its previous third position because of the city's strong housing affordability and high quality of life. On this list, Colorado Springs is the second best place to live and Green Bay, Wisconsin is the third. Now, that report also says Huntsville's metro area is a popular place for military retirees. Of course, that's because of the large defense and technology sector. Jerry Christine. 